Hi everyone, welcome back to Country in the City. My name is Sherry, how are you doing today? Today I'm bringing to you um, a little bit of uh, Ray Dunn. Um, not that I bought anything new because I haven't bought anything new since Christmas. So, and that was very limited what I did buy for Christmas. Um, but I want to go through my um, kind of like everyday mug collection. Um, by everyday, I mean uh, my collection of mugs that are not Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Easter, or Valentine's that aren't for a holiday, basically. So, um, so I want to just go through them. I have them here and, um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll push the camera back a little bit as we're in, tilt you down so you can see, but right here to my right, I have, um, my mug rack that sits on my counter, um, near my coffee pot and it holds two, four, six, eight. It holds 12 mugs. I only keep eight on it because I don't want to overcrowd it. And the bottom four um, arms are too low. I would have to elevate it. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to take the risk of it falling over or something. So um, I keep eight mugs on it. And I like to rotate them in and out. So I thought this was a good time to go through my everyday mug collection and show you what I rotate in and out kind of all the time, you know, all year long. Um, now on my wall over here to my left, on my pegboard, if you've seen some of my other um, YouTube videos, it's where I rotate in my um, holiday um, mugs um, that, you know, for whatever holiday. Um, right now, my Valentine's mugs are over there. And I don't know if you've seen those. I think they were already in a video, but I'll turn you and show you here. Oops, sorry, the light's on, but you can see they're up there on that pegboard. And I have, um, well, my cocoa mug is up there. Um, that cocoa and latte don't go on my stand. I do use them, but they don't go on my, on my mug tree. Um, they stay in here, and if I want to use it, I just pull them out. My latte is in there, and my cocoa is up there. And the reason that is because they took me a long, long time to find, and they're very rare. They're hard to find, both of those. Um, so, um, yeah, right now I have Love with Red Inside, an XOXO mug. Um, red inside with a red heart on the outside. A big one on one side and a small one on the other. And then red inside, be mine, it says on the outside. And then a red writing on the outside, mine, and a red writing on the outside, yours. And then I have just a black writing that says love, which I use this one year round, even though it is, you know, for Valentine's, but I use it year round. But um, pardon my hair. I was out today and it is raining. Um, we got two feet of snow here. Um, by Sunday night, we had two feet of snow um, where I live. And then by, it, it had, you know, had sleeted a little bit on top of that. So the weather here wasn't good. Monday, it was, you know, iffy. You take, took your chances to go out in it. Um, Tuesday, it was very, very cold. I mean, it was bitter cold. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Thursday. And it finally warmed up today. Like, I think it was 40 some degrees when I went outside um, to take my son. This is Regents Week here in, in the Northeast. Um, and I took my son to Regents and, um, and to do his midterms and his Regents test. And it was in the 40s so the snow is melting but on top of that it's raining so hence my hair pulled back please pardon my appearance or at least my hair it just once it's rained on it just won't hold the curl there's no sense in even trying um so um 
Yeah, so it's the lighting is kind of iffy right now. I have lamps on on either side of me and the curtains are all open. So this was the brightest room for me to film in. So that's why I'm here, but let's get started. I'll show you the mugs that I have and I'm gonna push you back a little bit so that you can tilt you down just slightly, okay? See if you'll, the camera will stay there. Hmm. All right. So you already seen my love, and I am drinking out of the only black mug that I have, Redone mug, and it's coffee. I did. I have a friend, another collector, who um, pardon me. I have another collector here who said she has one that says King on it for me, but we haven't seen each other and. The whole month of January so far so if I get it I get it if not and she takes it back or sells it to somebody else that's fine with me but hmm. it's so cold and damp that I just had to have some coffee and then I have my infamous coffee this was one of my first mugs that I found not the first but one of the first so I'm gonna take them off as I Go through them with you pardon me and this is happy this no color inside it just says happy i have a lot of mugs here in this basket so i'm going to try to make some room this is cheer good one for new year's or christmas or anytime you just want to be cheerful this one says sip and it is red inside see that pretty color red it's not like a, I don't know, can you see it? It looks different on a camera. It's um, it's like a deep red, it's real pretty. Now, <clears throat> this is the uh, mug rack that I use and you see how these are low. It, it would be fine if I were to put the mugs like this on it, um, but I just don't, it was meant for um, mason jars, small mason jars like jelly jars. So I just don't trust my mugs upside down on it. it took me a lot to collect those. So I'm going to set my mug tree down here. And oh goodness. I'm going to move my basket here so I have some place to put all of my mugs. No, oh, now you can see them. <laughs> Yeah, I have a bushel basket and it's filled with mugs. Ray Dunn mugs. So I have a mug that says adventure. I have a mug that says patience. And I know I have peace in my sideboard. Um, I used it at Christmas time and it got a little chip like on the, right on the outside edge. And it was very thin, the, the clay was very thin where it got a chip, but I hand wash these. these. All of my Ray Dunn gets hand wash. It doesn't go in the dishwasher. This one says hello. So I don't know how it got chipped, but it, you know, things happen. It's a $5.99 mug. That one was probably $3.99. This one says BU. They, this is called the B Collection. There's be you, be humble, be patient, be kind, be, you know, there's all kinds of B mugs, they call them. And people collect them, just the B mugs. Like people collect the, like, they call them the fruits of the spirit. And they'll collect any mug that has anything to do with the fruits of the spirit. Galatians, you know, 5, 22 and 23. Yeah. So then there's a mom mug. This one's great at Mother's Day. Anytime, but Mother's Day, it's wonderful. And a Mr. Mug. And my Mr. Actually, this was the very first large letter mug I ever found. It was my Mr. Mug. It's when mugs were, any Ray Dunn was so hard to find back then. This is Harmony. Harmony. 
imagine. And if they have any color inside, I'll show you. Mrs. to go with the Mr. Wisdom. Sing, because I sing. <laughs> so I had to have that one. Actually, yeah, that one, I can't remember if I found it or a friend found it for me, but pray, which we do without ceasing, right? <laughs> uh, we do. We do it all the time. Travel. Pardon me. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. T. Oh, this was the very first Radon item I ever found. It's called the typewriter font, and it says think. And it just spoke to me when I saw it because I'm the type of person that sometimes I don't think before I speak. Like, I'm very, I'm very forthcoming. I'm not afraid to say things that some people are afraid to say. And so, um, it kind of spoke to me. <laughs> think, you know. So, I won't get rid of it. It's the only typewriter mug I have. No, I take that back. I own a blue inside that says beach on it. So, that's, I only own two typewriter mugs. Dad. It's got like glue on it or something. Hmm. I don't know where that came from. Um, you are my sunshine. This is a very hard mug to find. Let me tilt you up just slightly. This is an extremely hard mug to find. And people, they clamor for this. But it's got a beautiful yellow let me see there you go now you can see the color yellow in it it's dusty in there from being in this basket but you are my sunshine and then yellow and pale yellow inside this is more like a an easter egg yellow and it says happy spring happy spring isn't that pretty? So that's my mug collection, my everyday mug collection. So let me see how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 36, 9, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I know there's some in my sideboard, uh, a few everyday ones that... Because this wasn't, my my mug rack wasn't filled. I only had six on it. So there's at least two everyday mugs in there. And then I have, oh dear, I have so many mugs in my sideboard. I'll turn you around and show you. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. I just pulled out a lot of my this is my Christmas. This is my, see, there's peace, faith, uh, family is behind there. Blessed. I have hip hop. It's blue inside and I have one that's pink inside. I have happy birthday. Oh, here's the pink one. Pink inside. It says hip hop. 
And then I have a best friends forever. And I have a happy birthday mug that is yellow inside. So yeah. <clears throat> I have quite a few mugs. And uh, oops. Um, yeah, so I have quite a few mugs and I'm going to pick some out and put them, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to pick some out and put the, put them on my mug rack and put it right back on my counter there in the kitchen. And that is all for this video. Thank you for stopping by and seeing my mug collection. I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye y'all.